everybody. Um, today I'm going to do a video about why I don't drink Coke. Now, um, Coke are a company with a very long and bloody history of killing people. Uh, they've had people kidnapped, raped, tortured, murdered, all kinds of things like that. Uh, they supported South African apartheid. Um, if particularly um, if you look at areas like South America, um, they've had people murdered in bottling plants. People who are members of trade unions, tr trade union leaders, they've been killed um, by coke. They've been killed by their employers. There are trade union uh, leaders and members who have to travel around in uh, bulletproof cars in areas of South America um, because that's how much at like, risk their lives are. Um, so when I hear, when I've had people sort of forwarding petitions to me, going on about how Coke seem to not be supporting LGBT rights, they're supporting these games in Russia, and of course this is there's this big issue of LGBT rights, I, I do wonder, why are you really surprised? This is a company that doesn't give a fucking shit about human life at all. It sees human life as disposable as as any material that they use. In their in their company, any material they use in their factories, the, the human beings are just as disposable as as the metal they make the cans out of, as the ingredients. That, that's all they value human beings as. They don't value them as people with agency at all. So I don't know why people are so surprised um, that they don't support LGBT rights. They don't support human rights in general. They actively detest human rights. <coughs> so. When people are saying to me, oh, let's try and get Coke to put a rainbow on their can in support of LGBT rights, I, I don't know why you're bothering to try and do that. I really don't see the point. Um, I don't want them to do that because they don't support human rights of any kind, LGBT or otherwise. I, I don't want to see... Um, I don't want Coke to look like they support that. I don't want anyone to buy into that bullshit that they um, support that kind of thing when they don't. I think, if anything, this incident backhandedly is very good because it serves to prove to anyone who wasn't already aware how disgusting and evil a company Coca-Cola is. And so that's why I don't drink Coke, and I don't drink any products related to Coke. You know, I don't drink Fanta, I don't drink whatever it is, uh, I can't even remember really, any of the other products, Dr. Pepper, things like that. I don't drink any of them. Um, because basically, you know, I have other options of things to drink. You know, I have taps that dispense water. Something I am very thankful about. You know, people in certain parts of the third world don't have that. They don't have taps dispensing water. I do. I have the choice. I have a choice of what to drink. And so I, I see it as my responsibility to make a responsible choice. Now, it's probably true that probably all other products I consume which probably have some kind of dirty history to them at some point along the way. Maybe the company that makes that product isn't union friendly, or maybe someone at some stage in the game suffered because of this product. Um, it's almost certain that I do, uh, but if once I know that the product is, is as bad as Coke, straight away I don't want to I don't want to touch this stuff ever again. Yeah, that's it for me. I'm I'm done with it. Um, I think sometimes you are sort of in a, between a rock and a hard place with certain products. As a consumer, sometimes you just think, oh, I can't, you know, I either, I either use this product or I'm stuck. I think computers are like that. It's very difficult to find a computer that doesn't have some product of third world labour in it, third world slave labour in it. It's very difficult to do that. And in the modern world, how do we really work without computers? How do we have a job that doesn't involve computers? You know, I can't think of anyone I know whose job doesn't involve computers at some stage in the game. Sometimes, unfortunately, we're stuck We're stuck between a rock and a hard place, really. We're either stuck in a position of either, say, use a computer or don't be part of the modern world. But with, with Coca-Cola and any of their products, I really don't see that as the case. You know, I don't see myself stuck. You know, I've got other things I can drink. It's not like if I don't drink Coke, my... Uh, body will shut down. <laughs> you know, it's not like, oh, I can't, well, I either drink Coke or, or I'm going to die. It's not the case. I suppose if I was stuck in the desert or something, and I was going to die of thirst, and the only thing available was Coke or one of their products, then yeah, obviously I'd drink it, because it's necessary. 
but that's not the case at the moment. The case at the moment is I have taps that dispense water. So in short, I don't like coke because they kill people, they rape people, they torture people, they kidnap people, and I'm not at all surprised they don't support LGBT rights. Let me know what you think. Goodbye.